All right, so let's cover this one. This one is typically, I'm thinking about a lot of people here like in Florida, but you can use this anywhere. A lot of you guys may get lost. You're not typically super far away from places, but hey, lost is lost, right? Um, some people don't want to admit they're lost, but the quickest way to get yourself out of trouble is going and realizing, hey, maybe I'm not lost. Maybe I'm just don't know exactly where I'm at right now, right? So first thing you want to do is just calm down. Just relax, sit down, clear your head, because it's easy to get tunnel vision when you're under stress and you're not thinking clearly, right? So relax, sit down, think about it. I'm lost. I'm in the woods. Hopefully you know about the area somewhat, right? You know a little bit about the area. Where's we at? So we're, we're lost. Oh no, I'm lost, right? Where are we at? So, okay, so we're lost, we're in the woods. <sighs> For some reason, we were bad at directions. We don't know, you know, where we're at. Hopefully, you should know a couple basic things. You should know what state you're in. You should know the general layout of the county or the, the general area, right? If I'm in a wildlife management area, if I'm on the Florida Trail, if I'm on the, was it the Pinote? If I'm on the Appalachian Trail, whatever. Hopefully I've done a little bit of homework. If not, it's okay, but you're behind the eight ball. So now I don't know. I'm turned around. I just ate. I'm tired. Maybe I'm even a little dehydrated, so I'm not thinking clearly. I need to sit down. I need to get my thoughts together. Relax. Don't panic. You're, you're okay. Remind yourself, I'm okay. So now I know that I left the trail and went 100 feet. 100 yards whatever people go missing people die when they go off trail and they just continue to wander i'll show a little clip if i can too of we don't wander people do not wander in straight lines they do circles so a young scientist by the name of asa schaefer asked a friend could you put on a blindfold i'm going to take you to the edge of a field and he said what i'd like you to do is walk across this field in a straight line just stay as straight on course as you possibly can the man headed off and here is asa's map of what happened next the man starts to walk and his route, as you see here, begins to tilt ever so slightly to the right. Now we're going to speed this up just a bit. Notice that the blindfolded man now starts to turn dramatically, taking him back to the road where he started from, and then across the road, and then around again, and then back again, and around again. And increasingly, he's moving in smaller curls until finally he hits a tree and stops. All the while, he thought he was walking in a perfectly straight line. Well, there are many studies just like this. A profound inability in humans to stick to a straight line when blindfolded or when there is no fixed point, no sun, no moon, no mountaintop to guide them. Um, if, if you think you're lost, stop right where you're at. If you can retrace your footsteps, like you can physically see your footsteps, do that, right? That's easy peasy, right? If I'm walking through portions of like, you know, the Florida Trail where it's muddy, should be pretty easy, right? Most of that trail is blazed anyways, but even if I got off trail to go camp or to use the bathroom, now I know I can follow my footsteps back if it's muddy. But what if it's not, right? What if it's not? It's a beautiful day, no rain, clean trail. Now I'm, I'm kind of in a bind. I don't know exactly where I'm at, I know I'm within 100 to 200 yards maybe off trail. Now my estimations could be off because I'm tired and I'm not thinking straight, so it could be double that, right? What am I gonna do? Hopefully, I brought my waypoint markers with me, right? If I need to take my knife or whatever and cut this into smaller strips, so be it. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie it on the spot that I'm currently at, right? The, I may be lost, but the one thing that I do know is I am currently here in this location, right? See my feet? I do know I'm here. I don't know where here is, but I know that I'm here. So what am I going to do? I'm going to tie off a marker right here, okay? Um, I would find a tree too, like I would tie that probably there. So now I do not know where I'm at. I must, I must see this at all times. The only reason that I should not be able to see this is if I came to a place to where I can still see it and I tie off another piece. 
then I need to be able to see that piece no matter what. Because when I come back to that piece, I should be able to see this piece. Making sense? Hopefully so. So now, I've only got one, one tracker out here right now. So now, I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna go this way. Now as I'm going, I'm thinking, I don't remember going through palmettos right here. But you know what? Maybe I did, I don't know. Look, there's my marker. Let me keep moving. Let me keep moving. Ducking under some stuff. Let's see, still moving. None of this stuff really looks familiar. I can still see my marker. Hey, I'm good, I can still see my marker. It's right back there, you can see that. I'm gonna keep pushing on and so forth. Now, once I get to an area and I'm like, none of, none of this looks familiar, I don't think this is the direction. I don't think this is the direction I came from. Let me go back to my marker. Okay, I'm back at my marker, it's right here. Let me grab this stick right here. It can be however you wanna do it. You can use whatever you want to, but now, I'm back here at this, I'm at my marker. I went that way, and that's not the way. So, I'm gonna just put a stick here to mark. I've already been that direction, right? I've already been that direction. So now, I'm gonna go this direction. If nothing looks familiar, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna mark it down here. Or I've been that way. Now look at here, here's a game trail. I did not come in by a game trail, but you know what? If that's what I need to do, maybe I'm wrong. I'm gonna go that direction. Then I'm gonna come back all the way, oh, look at here. Look at there, I can't see the orange marker. It's, I'm too short, it's too far down. So look, what am I gonna do with that marker? I'm gonna just move it over to this side and do the same thing. I've gotta see a marker. That right there could have been a major problem. If I go 25 feet and turn around, I might be in even worse trouble than before. So we don't wanna lose that. And then we'll come back to this other direction and we'll work our way out, right? So we've tried the four different directions. You can use your compass also to do this. So coming out here, make sure I can still see my orange. Up, ah, lo and behold, I have a road. No one even has to know I got lost. I don't have to, I don't have to tell anybody. I don't have to be embarrassed. No one had to call rescue, but hey, listen, don't be afraid to call 911. If things are looking bad and you're feeling bad and you're, you're starting to freak out, it's better for you just to go ahead and call 911. It's a, that's another reason why I think it's important to hike with two people if you're inexperienced or have any kind of health conditions because anything can happen. It don't matter if you're an Olympic athlete, you could have a stroke. Things can happen. It's all about being prepared and being ready. I mean, I could get I could get snake bit right now filming this video. As a matter of fact, I've been looking. Hey, this is important stuff. This is simple stuff. I hope I'm keeping this as simple as possible. Please, please ask questions or comments. Um, I think I'm gonna do a real simple compass video that's just as basic as it gets so that no one gets overwhelmed because even just knowing north, south, east, and west will save your life. I'm going back to the last known trail marker because sometimes that's the easiest way, right? You go back to the last known location that you know, and then you can work from there. So that's a big deal. You don't wanna get yourself in some bad shape, bad trouble. I would recommend you at least, I mean, if you can carry a map with you of the place that you're in, but I'm not covering map reading and all that. Uh, that can get pretty in depth. So master the compass, master a lot of this uh, other stuff first. It'll get you through almost everything. And Big Cypress, so my plan was, I had a fallback plan no matter what. If we get out there, something happens. We put out at Oasis Visitor Center, the trail bends and winds, but it goes back to I-75, Alligator Alley, which is north of there. So I always knew worst case scenario, due north, I had food, we had plenty of water, we were drinking out of the swamp. But we had food, we had water, move north. Worst case scenario, you just keep moving north. You're coming out on 75. May not be where you wanted to come out on 75, but you're coming out. And at the end of the day, when it comes to your safety, that's all that matters. 
is that you do come out, right? Come out alive, have a winning mindset. You'll kill it, you'll do great. Positive self-talk is big. Hiking with somebody else is big because they can keep you from possibly freaking out. Hey, God bless and you guys have fun. Yep.